king. That's a good turn. Oh. But a straight draw. <laughs> That's a well above average far point for the king in the door. <laughs> Hussein Ensan, the dominant ship leader, and he has aces. He limps. Wow. Million. Trems and raises with Queen Jack suited. How much? Things are about to get swifty in here. Ensan continues to play it slow, he flats. This is very, very suspicious. And this could be fatal for Trems and he's paired his queen. Things are about to get real swifty in here. He checks. And Ensan continues to slow play, he checks behind. Jeez. Nine on the turn. Tremsen's gonna come out firing. One million. Kind of seems like Hossein check calls a lot and then bombs the river when he has it, but there's pretty much no way Gleb can know that. Ensign calls. The river card. An inconsequential four. There's going to be consequences, all right, for Gleb. 260. 2.6 million. I go all in. And Ensan shoves on him. I know that Hossein in the membrane, Ensan in the brand plays nuttier than Barrack Grills used pine cones, but I think when he moves all in here, you have to consider the fact that a large percentage of the time he is going to have it. This is a decision for Gleb Tremzin's tournament life. This is a decision for the title. Fold in this bunk. Really tough to fold here and leave yourself three million to his thirty. Trems in. Calls all in and busts. Yes. It is over. Good game. Yes. Hussein Ensan is the winner. Good, he is the champion of the Czech Republic. Now there's Dominic Nietzsche, he's been moved from the feature table to the outer table to balance it out. And now we have the two big stacks at the same table, and you know what can happen when you get two big stacks at the same table. Not only that, but they're sitting next to each other, they're rubbing elbows here. This could get real interesting. Well, it is getting interesting. We had a raise from Nietzsche on the button to 19,500, a re-raise from my old lead to 60,000. Action over to Jorge Landazuri in the big blind, he gets out of the way. Back to Nietzsche, he's all in. What? I said all in. Oh. And wow, Ioli calls Monster Pot almost three quarters of a million here. Yes! And neither player has a real hand. King Queen for Ioli and Nietzsche with King Ten of Hearts. Neither one believed the other one. Snap calls on both of them. Snap all in on it and then a snap call. I just knew I knew of course. These guys are either seeing something I'm not or I, I, I just can't believe this play. Well, Ioli is saying that he knew it. He just knew that Nietzsche was making a move. And he's made a great call, I suppose. I mean, he's ahead. He's going in against the only guy at the table that can cripple him. Well, here's the flop, and it's a very dangerous flop for Ioli because Nietzsche has a gut shot straight draw and the flush draw. Absolutely does. That's the worst flop he could have seen almost, other than three hearts. Yeah, Ioli's still ahead with king-queen, 55% chance of winning this pot, but Nietzsche's got a lot of outs. This pot is absolutely monstrous, yes! and there it is. It's the five of hearts on the turn, and Nietzsche has made his flush. He's got the check mark. Three quarters of a million chips are going to go to Nietzsche. Oh, Mark is devastated. Look at this. He actually made a brilliant call in his mind, and, and, and now look at this. He's dominated. He's done. Wow. Two players, neither one giving the other player credit for a real hand. An unbelievable turn of events here. Mark Ioli is in stunned disbelief. He can only helplessly look over as most of his chips are now in front of the new chip leader, Dominic Nietzsche of Germany. Oh, wow. And here we go. We were just talking about how balanced his flatting was. And lo and behold, the snap call with aces. I love this. So often, Aldemir is just going to be raising his weak as... King seven suited and the, and the like, putting so much ICM pressure on people. Why three bet when he's just gonna fold? Sean Buchanan, world class stuff. I love this. Well, this is interesting. Two of the big stacks going to the flop. 
The guys were second and third on the leaderboard. And it's a low board. 10-5-4 on the flop. I will say this. Aldemir is going to play this pretty carefully. He's not going to be banging this board and hoping to get three streets of value. Delayed C-bet from Aldemir, 280,000 into 420,000. Buchanan calls. Buchanan would love a brick here because it really looks like he has, you know, something like king-queen or a really big ace-high. So, and then, you know... Not really a brick, though. It's a straighty, flushy board now. Aldemir checks. Buchanan betting for value. It's 430,000. Really, really tough spot here for Aldemir. Buchanan, his hand is so underrepped, but Aldemir is also very aware that he shouldn't really have many bluffs here. If he deduces that he's not really beating any value hands, he needs to figure out what kind of bluffs Buchanan's going to have. And world class fold wow. from Corey Aldemir. Well, it looks like he's not going to waste any time getting involved here. Phil Ivey opens with Ace Eight of Hearts, and straight away a raise of nineteen thousand. I will remind everybody it is cash, and that is why Vogel Sang has picked up Jacks. There is Dwan plays the cash game every year here at Aussie Millions, and Phil will look him up with Ace Eight of Hearts. So. A little bit of action early. The pot around 43,000 Australian dollars cash, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the flop. It is a five, an eight, and a seven. So, well, that could mean a little bit of trouble for Phil. Well, money-wise, anyway. That's a coordinated board as well. And there is occasions where the call of the pre-flop three bet can indicate those middling type of hands here. Fives is fives, six, sevens, eights, nines. It certainly hits some two pair combinations as well. Action on Vogel saying, counting out a bet. That's 24,000. 24,000 over to Phil now. He makes the call. Change taken. Oh, this is me, by the way. Here comes the turn. It is a 10. Well, that could slow him down as well. Although he has picked up a gut shot straight draw. He's picked up a gut shot. And again, that card does hit some calling ranges from Ivy pre-flop. Nice he hands like 10-9, 10-8, 8 Certainly those middling type of hands that Phil Ivy has been known to play. That's really definitely a bet here from Vogel saying he still has the overpair. He still has a gut shot straight draw. And he checks. So we'll see a river. And it is a king. So Vogel saying with the best hand of jacks. Ivy checks here. Will Vogel saying bet? The pot's at 91,000 here, Grant. Well, Ivy has checked three times. It's a three bet pot. Will Vogel saying go for some thin value? I think he probably will. A bit of about 35,000, 40,000. Vogel saying really taking his time. I'm sitting aside 2007 grand final APPT winner. Grant Levy, you were right. He checks behind. So he will show his jacks and Phil Ivy mucks. So Vogel saying just sat down and casually wins a pot. 
of nearly 100,000 Australian dollars. Sam has suited connectors, six five of hearts. Very likely to have live cards. Alan. He shoves. And gets snap called by Fedor with Ace King. Sam's not in terrible shape. The sixes and fives are live. Three hearts are good. Four hearts, bad. As things stand, Fedor holds a 58% favorite to win this tournament. A king. That's a good turn. Oh. But a straight draw. <laughs> That's a well above average five points through the king in the door. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that's well above average against me. You don't even wait for like the second card. You just get it in the door every time. Yeah. Fade the door. Oof. <laughs> More outs for Sam. Can I get a face down? Can, you, can, I, can I get a face down? Can you, can you spin it? Sam needs a three or an eight. Did anyone fall the three or an eight? The river is a queen and Fedor Holtz is the champion. You either destroyed me, huh? You either destroyed me or I ran really well. Uh, you ran really well. I am, I am. I am. I am. I am. Just uh, running too hot. Yeah. Can't, can't do much against that. You could always get your twin brother to kick his butt in the parking lot. Okay, just a thought. I think Lucas should give Sam a hug. That was brutal. <laughs> <laughs>